All right, guys, and welcome back to Tactical Maine. All right, dudes, in today's video, we're going to talk about the top three mistakes made while conceal carrying. Before we start the countdown, dudes, I just want to take a quick minute to say if you've made any of these mistakes in the top three, don't beat yourself up, okay? Everybody starts from somewhere. Everybody's made these mistakes. I've made these mistakes. Don't beat yourself up. If you find somebody making these mistakes, don't beat them up. Just say, hey, maybe look into this or maybe try that. That being said, let's get started. Coming in at number three, you're picking the wrong holster, dude. And what do I mean by you picking the wrong holster, dude? I'm not talking about your carry position, whether it's appendix, three o'clock, four o'clock, small of back, one, two o'clock. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Everybody likes their own position and that's fine. What I am talking about is all too often I've seen people go ahead and get a Glock 19 size firearm and go ahead and purchase a gigantic, gigantic hybrid holster. For those new to the scene, a uh, hybrid holster is a Kydex shell with a huge cloth or leather uh, back to it and it spreads out. Pretty much you got a clip at like the, I'd say two o'clock position. The, the firearm would sit at the three and you got another clip holding it in at the four o'clock. It's taking up that whole side. And if you get a hybrid holster with a Glock 19 size firearm or larger, it's going to feel like you are carrying a howitzer on your hip. And what this ultimately leads these people to doing is dropping down in size of their carry firearm and getting a pocket carry, which they're no good at shooting and it's less. It's less. Nobody wants less. Why, why would you carry less? See it too often. People run down to that size firearm and, and, and then they've done gone away from it. Let's face it. In reality, you really gonna say, yeah, I only needed those six rounds of nine millimeter. You really wish you had less ammo. You really wish you had less grip. You really wish you had less sight radius. No. So, if you're just starting out with concealed carry, don't get a hybrid holster. Try to stay away from a big, gigantic holster that's gonna take up the entire side of your body. Try to get a simple, plain Jane, small, slender, sleek Kydex holster, right? That's it. This tiny little thing is not taking up any space, any more space than it needs to. Nice minimalist holster. As you can see, that's a Glock 17. I can still carry a Glock 17 in Florida in a t-shirt. Am I wearing a gun? No, I don't think so. Maybe. I think Conceal's good. Very good. Box 17. With a fat body. My, my rolls fit right into it. Uh, those are tactical love handles, man. That happens to me too. It holds it nice and steady. Yeah. And it's just a light t shirt. Mm hmm. It's pr obviously print now. Yeah. But I don't walk around in the store like that. No. Yeah. Just go on with your day. Don't care. Don't care if someone's looking at you or not. Just go on with your day and conceal carry. A good thing about a holster like this is it gets your ride height nice and low as well. The hybrid holsters, they're going to tell you, oh, this wing on here or this or that or whatever, it's going to pull that grip in tighter to your body. Yada, yin, yang. It's still going to feel like a gigantic piece of howitzer in your on your belt so you're not going to want to wear it and you're going to want to go to a pocket sized little dinky thing like this like the car cw 380 don't get me started on that piece of crap but you're going to get something tiny like that and then you're just not going to want to carry so again get a good minimalist holster whether it's an appendix carry holster or wherever you want to carry it just get a small holster and make sure it's a proper holster. It has good retention. It's not gonna drop your gun out when you're running around or anything like that, okay? Coming in at number two on the list, gentlemen's, gentlemen's, carry everywhere you go. Point my fingers around. You, you over there in the back, I see you. 
Let me get out of the way. I can see you over there. You just went to the gas station. You're like, ah, oh, I just got to get some cigarettes and some Pepsi. I'm just running to the gas station. I'm going to leave it at the house. No. No, 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 no. Don't, don't leave your firearm at the house. Carry everywhere you go, unless federally prohibited, or if there is a criminal offense in your state for carrying in such places. Uh, we, we want to exercise our rights everywhere we go, but we don't want to break laws, guys. We definitely don't want to break any laws. But if you're running to the gas station real quick, don't leave it at the house. Take it with you. Don't leave it in the car. You're more likely to get held up at the gas station than you are in your house. I don't, I don't know about the statistics, but your, prob your chances of needing it are greater going to the gas station. So don't leave it at home. That's a big mistake. I'm guilty of that one myself. I used to do it a lot, but I don't anymore. I carry it where I go, uh, and it just becomes second nature. So if you think it's a hassle, like I said, get a holster like this with one single clip. Very easy to get in and out of your belt. Very easy. You just pick up on and boom, it's done. Easy. Good to go. Put it on, take it off, whatever. But you definitely need to carry everywhere you go. And number one on the list, guys, a huge mistake that I don't like saying if you don't do this, it'll get you killed. But this one just might. I mean, number two you leave a gun at home and someone tries to grab you and start shooting, yeah, you don't have a chance. So that one could get you killed too. I don't like saying that at all. But this one, number one, and this is more common in new carriers, okay? Because they just don't trust the firearm yet. Carrying a striker fire pistol on an empty chamber. Carry plus one. Plus one, ladies and gentlemen, carry plus one at all times. If you have a good working order firearm, Glock, MMP, SIG, I don't want to say Springfield. I'm not an XD dude, so don't hate me. If you have a good working order striker, fire, reputable, reliable pistol, carry plus one. You ever come in a self-defense encounter, you're not going to have the time to rack around. You're just not. Carry plus one. And if you have a proper holster that protects the trigger, it's not going to go off. Unless it's a, say, P320 and you drop it. I'm going to share with you guys a little tip I tell people who are new to firearms who just don't trust carrying plus one. Like, oh my God, it's going to shoot. Oh no, it's going to fire. It can fire. No, it can't. There's many internal safeties built in, including external safeties on some firearms. It's not going to shoot unless you disengage the safety and pull the trigger. But a little tip to get you more comfortable when you're at the house. Okay. If it makes you feel more comfortable, you're home alone. Plus one, your firearm, put it in the holster, set it on a nightstand or on an end table while you're watching TV pointed in a safe direction. After a night or two of doing that, you're going to be like, yeah, it's not shooting. So start doing it at the house. Hour a day. Put it on your hip. You'll start getting used. Not only will it help you get used to it actually being on your hip, but you'll get used to it being a live, deadly firearm. And it'll increase your safety because you'll be more aware of where you're pointing this thing. And then you will get used to it and you need to carry it plus one at all times. Like I said, you're not going to have the time in a self-defense situation, in a life or death situation, to rack a round. Just not going to have it. All right, so there you have it, guys. The top three concealed carry mistakes. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if, you, uh, if you've ever made these mistakes or you're currently making the mistakes, don't beat yourself up over it. Learn from it and move forward and better yourself, better your carry techniques. And remember, carry every single day, everywhere you go. Don't care how safe you think it is there, carry. Thanks for stopping by the Tactical Main channel. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you got any other concealed carry mistakes people make or you've made yourself. And if you feel like supporting the channel, Click on one of the Amazon links down in the description below. Jeez, can't talk. Don't have to buy what I've linked. You can use the link to buy whatever you want. But if you want to support the channel, 
get some more bullets coming into the KX main channel, see some more pow pows and pew pews, do that. Thank you again. Have a great day. See you in the next video, guys.